okay hi beautiful people welcome to my channel i am soul queen woo i want to say hi to all of my subscribers i know i've been gone for so long <laughs> You know, I've just been going through life, going through the motions. Um, thank you for hanging in there. I'm so thankful if you did not unsubscribe. So thank you for hanging in there with a the player. If you are new to my channel, I want to say welcome. Subscribe if you want. Browse around. See if you like anything. Share it with your homegirls or your homeboys. You know, I'm just here to spread the love. So I want to give you guys a quick update on myself, my life, you know, what's been going on. Um... Some of you guys know, some of you guys don't know. I'm actually in seminary school. I'm getting my Master's of Divinity. Um, this is a school for people who are diving deeper into the Christian religion, deeper into Christianity or religion in general. You're getting to learn about it from like a historical perspective, from a scholarly perspective, an academics perspective, a spiritual perspective. It's a way just to dive really deep into the culture the lifestyle christianity the religion um the spiritualness and it's been one heck of a journey um i know for sure that god has called me to be here but it is a huge challenge and um that's part of the reason why i haven't been on youtube like that because i'm just allowing myself to be poured into um i take god very seriously i take my relationship with god very seriously like this is not a game. I'm not playing. I'm not putting on a show for anybody. It's not genuinely wholeheartedly. I'm very passionate about God and what God has called me to do. So I just needed a break. You know, I haven't really been so motivated to make videos. And this kind of is what going what's going into why I'm making this video. This video is for all of those people who need someone to just document the struggle, who need someone to remind them that they're not in this alone, who need somebody to just say like, look, I know like it looks really good over here and all these great things are happening, but there's still a part of my life where I feel unfulfilled. And um, I think we're all really great at documenting, you know, all the great and awesome things that are going on in our life. but it's not too often that we find people that are in our age bracket um or people who may, may be just too prideful or, you know they're what they're going through in life may hurt so much that they don't want to document it but for people who just need to be reminded that you know life is real we have hard experiences we all have to we all have our own battle to fight and a lot of us are fighting every day just like me and for those of you who need to just see that you know I'm here I've been in a place where you know God has blessed me so much and I'm so thankful for everything that God is doing in my life but sometimes like in this season I just find myself being unhappy I don't feel like my gifts um, of singing or um, being an artist or creating or you know I don't feel like I'm using them the way that I would like to use them the way that I think my gifts should be used right um, a lot of other things that are a little more personal like are like heavy on my heart and you know I'm just in a place in my life where I'm just not happy um, I'm thankful for everything that I have in my life I know that God is so good I know that God has blessed me and has shown me grace but the reality is is that I'm not happy or as happy as I know that I can be and for those of you who want to reach out to people who want to speak to somebody about your unhappiness but you're always hit with the oh you should think about people that are less fortunate than you or oh you should count your blessings and all oh, this and all that you know basically every answer you get from other people is just someone telling you why you should not be unhappy but it doesn't help and it honestly doesn't really make you feel better so what I can recommend for you all if you can or if you have the resources is to reach out to someone that can help you you know reach out to someone that will be willing to listen to you and not judge you sometimes a lot of us are unhappy and we just need a place to release all of that energy it's not always that we need answers of course a lot of us know to count our blessings a lot of us know that God is still good and God has shown us so much but sometimes all we need is a place to release and God is big enough to provide that for you another thing you can do is pray oh my god prayer child 
prayer changes things. Pray for an outlet. Pray for God to reveal to you whatever it is that God needs to reveal to you. Pray for God to give you the strength. Pray to God to allow you to release control of the situation so that God can be your strength. Pray for a mentor. Pray for somebody to be there for you. Pray for an outlet. You know, prayer helps. Prayer really helps and it stretches you and it sustains you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that all of a sudden tomorrow you'll be happy again. But what it does mean is that you're putting it out into the atmosphere. And God is so big and so powerful to the extent that if us as God children command something as out into the atmosphere, God will literally change things and orchestrate in the universe on behalf of you. And my desire is not to romanticize things or make it seem like you know you're just going to be happy tomorrow and everything's going to be all peachy and all your problems are going to go away because what life is teaching me is that that is not true <laughs> but um what i am learning now more than ever is that god is the sustainer of life and for those of you who are who are unhappy for those of you who are battling with demonic um thoughts of like you know depression or feeling beneath yourself or feeling bad about yourself or feeling unfulfilled or feeling purposeless or feeling like you know like you're the scum of the earth whatever it is that you feel I just want you to know that it's normal it is so normal that people are surprised to hear it like people act like feeling bad about yourself is this abnormal abnormal thing when all of us go through it at different phases in our lives and sometimes we sit in it and we wallow in it wallow in it and it sucks and i understand but i want you to not feel like you're the enemy of the world because you are in this place where you just feel unfulfilled it is okay to be upset. It is okay to be sad. It is okay to not be happy with where you are in life. That is a regular human experience that a lot of us have. And you are absolutely not alone because I'm in a place where I feel unfulfilled. I'm in a place where I don't know or really understand what God is doing in my life, but I know that I'm supposed to be here. And one thing that I can say for encouragement is pay attention to the grace. Every time you are blessed with the opportunity to live another day, that is another day for God to reveal himself to you. That is another day for you to experience life and experience the world. It's another day for you to fight. It's another day for you to give God the fight. It doesn't make life easier, but you having life, you living to see another day, us being in this moment together, these are the moments that God provides of us to let us know that everything will be okay. Things may not go the way that we want them to go. The burden on our, on our hearts may not be healed just as yet, but it is a reminder that everything will be okay. And even as I'm ministering to you, it ministers to me just to remember that. You are fighting the good fight. You are capable. You are possible. You are purposeful. I think that's a, I hope that's a real word. But any fool that it's great is you. You know, you can do this. It is okay. It's okay if you don't have it all together today. It's okay if you don't have it all together throughout the month. Just keep on going keep on walking sometimes you just have to walk sometimes you just have to crawl sometimes you gotta like slither on the floor and just barely be trying to make it but you are making it sometimes you just have to make it through the night sometimes you literally just have to make it through the night and I want you to know that you guys are in my prayers deeply I want you to know that God loves you. I want you to know that God is big enough and you don't have to pretend to be happy if you know that you're not. You don't have to pretend you understand if you know that you don't. You don't have to pretend because God knows your heart. God is there with you in the midst of it. God knows your heart and it is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. God is big enough for your problems. God is big enough for your issues. Don't think you're offending God. Don't think that God is afraid of what it is that you have going on. Don't think that God can't handle it. No. No, 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 no. That's no. <laughs> God is big enough. 
God is big enough to walk you through anything that it, it is that you are going through. And it's okay. It's going to be all right. All we have to do is breathe. All we have to do is walk. All we have to do is pray and ask God to humble us. Pray and ask God to allow us to release the problem unto him. We will find rest in God. It will be okay. It will be okay. And I want you to place your hand on your heart. And I will pray for you. And just keep your eyes closed. And just listen to this prayer. And I, I really do pray that it helps. When I think of all the things I've been through. All I can say is thank you. When I think, yeah. Of all the pain I've been through, all I can say is thank you. God, we come to you humbly thanking you. We thank you for gracing us with another day of life. We thank you for protecting us, God. We thank you, God, for being big enough for our problems.